Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description. You can find that on my website. You can find a bunch of other things there on that website. It's free to sign up and join. Go ahead, go check it out. Currently have a big sale and everything on the shop as well, and that lasts until July 20th, so only three more days, and then that sale ends, and then it's just back to regular prices. Even the tarot cards are on sale currently, um, but yeah, go check that out. Let's see what we have going on for Aquarius, and I'm starting off with the Aquarian Spirit Tarot, which you can find on my shop, and like I said, it is currently on sale, $80 off, but let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? Is anything going to fall out, or do we have to actually shuffle, shuffle? It is 717, though. Aquarius, look at this. Lucky number seven. Two cards have fallen out. Some of you guys may be resting, taking a little break, and it also feels like you're at a little bit of a crossroads on which path to take, but it doesn't really matter which path you take, Aquarius, because it leads to the same result anyway, so it doesn't really matter what the choice you make. It's going to be the same outcome. Okay? So, let me do this, mix them up. We have you connected with Eos, which is a goddess, which is helping you rise out of darkness and into light. So you guys are raising your vibration here, and you're raising it so high, and it's like you're you're getting out of a dark place. Like I said, to, back towards the light, Aquarius, back to, you know, being happy again, back to um, being satisfied and feeling very light instead of down and dark, you know? Some of you guys may be having some psychic dreams here, too. There's the Prince of Cups. Prince of Cups can be a young boy or a young male that is very much in their emotions and is very psychic and intuitive. So that can either be you or just somebody that's around you. But we have cups. So we're going to go over to this deck right here and tell me more for Aquarius. Okay. Oops. Hermit. Some of you guys may kind of be in this hermit mode. You guys may be setting up some strong boundaries with some people around you. I feel like saying no more, you know, having your own personal boundaries with a group of people saying no, maybe to a group of people here, Aquarius, and really going after what it is you want for your life here, which would be a relationship. Look at you. I see you in a relationship with somebody. You may have put people in their place and tell, you know, tell them not to mess with your relationship and then headed towards your relationship. I see there's a relationship here where it feels like it's a very committed relationship or it's going to turn into a committed relationship. It could be getting engaged, getting married. Maybe the, you guys could be going on like a honeymoon near the beach or something. This also gives me twin flame vibes. So whoever this is that's coming towards you, or maybe that you're already with, it's like they're very similar to you, Aquarius, and I'm seeing you're going to be meeting more of your soul tribe, soul family here, which is people here that are into the same things as you. They resonate with you. They're on the same vibration as you. Look, the pathway is clear, Aquarius, for you to move forward in the direction that you need to move forward in here for you to manifest what you want to manifest. Okay, you guys are popping up as a high priestess, somebody here that's psychic, somebody here that's intuitive. Maybe you read tarot even here, or maybe you guys have Pisces within your birth chart with the high priestess here. Some of you guys may be working with the moon here as well. If you've been wanting an animal or like a pet, I see that some of you guys be getting that. Here, you're being told to remain focused on what it is you really want for your life, what it is you truly wish for, Aquarius. And you're stepping up into new territories, into unknown territories here. Okay. Leaving behind heartbreak and going towards the new. So it could be, I don't know, just leaving something that broke your heart. Leaving, leaving something, once again, leaving that dark place and going towards the light, Aquarius. Some of you guys may be heading towards a new relationship here. All right, you know what? No, I'm going to continue with these cards. Yeah. Some of you guys may be leaving behind somebody here that like to ignore you a lot, and then you're you're just moving on and moving into a different relationship to somebody here that does not ignore you. Somebody here that you feel very happy with. Once again, you're very similar here, and you have victory. You have victory by doing that. I also feel like you guys have victory within your career, 
as well. Yeah, victory within your career, within your finances, Aquarius. Okay. And what you want is just up ahead for yourself. Um, yeah, I feel like there was somebody here you were giving and giving and giving a lot to that just kept ignoring you. I feel like whoever that person is, you left them behind because it's like they were pulling you into a dark place. You left them behind here, Aquarius. You moved on and then it's like you found somebody else. You found somebody new and it feels like that relationship, that new relationship here is going to flourish here. And I feel like that new relationship, you could end up even getting married to that person. You know, it feels like there's a lot of potential with that. Okay. There's an offer coming forward or there's somebody here wanting to speak to you. I feel like you're releasing, once again, releasing restrictions, releasing binds, releasing the past here. We have you guys connecting with the Earth Mother Gaia. And we have the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is abundance here. And once again, what you've been envisioning for your future is coming in for you. So what you've been desiring is coming in. You're going to be celebrating because you're going to be getting what you've been desiring. And once again, walking away. From the past, leaving that past person alone and moving into a different relationship, a new relationship. This keeps popping up in your guys' reading. Okay? There is some big miracle that is about to enter your guys' lives. And you guys are going to be focusing on self-care, self-love. And there's somebody here that's going to be very deeply in their feelings for you. Aquarius, see star. They're seeing you as the star. Okay? They're seeing you as the empress or the emperor, whatever. And you, you're still, you're continuing to cut your cords with the past. All right. We have the universe gifting you money, gifting you gifts here, gifting you blessings. There's somebody here that regrets what they said or did to you. But like I said, it, it's like you're still continuing to set boundaries with whoever that was here, continuing to say no. And you're moving here towards a new beginning. There's three things that you've been waiting for that are coming into your life, Aquarius. There could be three things that you're creating, or maybe one of these things is something that you're creating here. All right. Some of you guys may have felt like you were carrying a lot of other people's burdens. There's also somebody here that likes gardening or farming, or there's some masculine here that likes gardening, farming, likes being out in nature. I don't know if that's you or maybe your person, king of swords. Yeah, there's like a king of swords that really likes nature here. And we're being told to get deeper into spirituality here, become like this spiritual warrior here. And then there's a boat. So I don't know, you could be going to somewhere near like boats, water, you know, oceans, lake type of vibe. Now we're going to grab some oracle cards really quickly. Just tell me more for Aquarius. This is wanting to fall out. It is number nine with relationships. Like I said, relationships, Aquarius. You're going to be leaving one relationship. Maybe you even left that one relationship a long time ago, but it's like finally just cutting the cords with that. Moving on and then moving into a new relationship. Number nine, relationships, intimacy, freedom, acceptance, trust. You see, there is some relationship that I feel like it's, it's very important. Could be happening right now, upcoming here, but it's like this is an important relationship there's something here you're deciding not to take action towards there's a portal that is open up and we do have 717 yeah, eight of wands there's something here you decided not to take action towards what is the eight of wands in reversed because i feel like that has to do with it wands wands is in the back reversed yeah there's something something you weren't supposed to take action towards you decided not to take action towards could have been a person even yeah it could have been a person wearing a mask or a false person whoever that is i feel like you have victory in that or or maybe maybe you had two options coming towards you in love and i feel like you picked the right one you took you decided to take action towards the right one and you left the wrong one behind here because we have the lovers right after it you know what i'm saying like you you chose wisely here aquarius I feel like you had a choice between somebody here that acted like a real mature adult and somebody here that acted like a child. And once again, I feel like you picked right here. So you, you pick the mature one, the one that's actually ready for a relationship. Knows how to operate in relationships here too. Maybe you guys connecting with the goddess Osset. Osset is uh, granting you healing here and the ability to heal others as well. So I'm going to go over here to these cards actually.
There's something coming in that's going to surprise you. It'll be surprise luck. Your luck turns around. You start getting lucky, Aquarius. You start having abundance coming in. You start having financial independence. Maybe there's surprise money that comes in. There's the death card. There's the ten of wands. Yeah, there's somebody here that I feel like is trying to reach out to you. Maybe they could have been a Scorpio. Maybe they're trying to come back around, but I feel like you're not looking at them anymore. I feel like you're ignoring them. I feel like maybe you even blocked them here or you decided you just didn't want this person. You didn't want the person from the past. Maybe because they were the ones that acted like a child and I feel like you, you just don't have time for that. They're childish games anymore, Aquarius. You want something more serious here. And like I said, all this person did was just play games. You know, they acted like a literal child even though they were an adult, you know, you have victory, you have victory by walking away and leaving it alone, you see, leaving it alone, you have victory in, by not playing the game anymore, just moving on and moving forward here, Aquarius, some of you guys may be buying a car, it's gonna be justice, justice when you buy the car, there's a king of swords, king of swords could be yourself, some of you guys could have Libra in your charts, also have Aries Emperor. I feel like the person coming towards you in love, like this new love, either potentially they could be a Cancer, Libra, or an Aries, or they have those placements within their birth chart. Heavy air here, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius overall here, but I feel like this person is very business minded. I feel like you're also very business minded. So this is like a match. I feel like you and them are a match. You could be the Empress, they could be the Emperor, or vice versa here, you know? But it feels it feels like there's this type of like soulmates vibes. Like I said, soulmates, twin flames, Aquarius here. You and them, I feel like you're gonna be getting in the boat moving forward here. All right, maybe you're sleeping while you're in the boat. <laughs> I don't know. I see boats in the future. Like a cruise or something. Queen of Swords. Once again, Queen of Swords could be yourself, whether you're male or female, does not matter. There's this dumb King of Cups that keeps popping up in your reading. There's a King of Cups that's watching you. There's a water sign, a Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio here. They're watching you. It's like this person, they're watching you. But they act like you did something to them, but they were the ones that did something to you. I don't know, something's wrong with them. Um, the Sun. But I feel like you're just continuing to move on with your life, Aquarius. It's like you don't care. You're moving on. You're having fun while you're moving on here. Okay. The sun and the moon. So this is a state of balance once again. So we have you connected with your sun sign and your moon sign here. And we have the ten of pentacles that's coming your way. You're about to be extremely happy because you have the ten of pentacles. Okay. Ten of pentacles. Oops. Ten of pentacles is the big money here. It's the money. So a lot of you guys can have a big check about to be deposited into your bank account. So it's the money. It's the family. It's the home. It's the dogs here. There's somebody here that's having a lot of anxiety. I don't know if that's you or somebody that's around you. There could be a Queen of Cups, a Water Sign, another Water Sign, Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio. I feel like they're having a lot of anxiety because you blocked them. They may have been one of the people that you blocked, but I feel like you may have blocked them for a reason. And once again, you're just moving on with your life. Aquarius, not looking back, not caring here. And once again, moving forward into a new relationship. It feels like there's some type of engagement in, in the future. I feel like there's somebody here that's going to get engaged married, you know, I feel like this is going to happen fast here with the Knight of Swords, like you start dating, and then, you know, they propose, then you get married, and you buy the house together, you have kids, whatever, right, or the dog, you see, lovers, this is this lover coming towards you, we have heavy Gemini here, once again, like I said, air, with this person, air, and then Aries, and I know Aries is not an air sign, but I also see Aries here too, so I feel like they could have a bit of Aries within their birth chart here. But we have Archangel Raphael that is bringing you and this person here together. Here, I feel like this is somebody here that sees you and really wants you. They recognize that this is what they want, this is what they see in their future, this is who they see themselves with, is you. Into this happy relationship, happy marriage, happy family, happy home. Here, I feel like you know this, I feel like you know that this is how this person feels towards you. Some of you guys can have Leo within your birth chart. Maybe this person does. And once again, there's your money. Here comes your money, Aquarius. Your money. There's generosity here too. See, there's the path that is clear. That is clear to move into the new. It's clear to move into the new. So it's clear to move into this new relationship, Aquarius. Queen of Wands. I said some of you guys could have fire within your birth charts. 
maybe potentially Capricorn too, or maybe this person does, Capricorn, Gemini, here once again, star, star is yourself. Okay, so Aquarius, that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also go check out my website for even more content on there too. Alright, so goodbye guys.